Hello Grade 5s, this is your teacher, Mr. McMurdo, and this will be our first review, and we'll be looking at data analysis and statistical landmarks. So, if we are to look at this data set, we have scores on a unit test of 20, 20 19, 16, 16, 17, 18, 19, 16, and 17. These are the marks that make up our data set for our analysis. The first thing we want to look at is the minimum. The minimum is the lowest value in our data sets. And if we simply look at our data set, we'll see that 16 is actually our lowest value. The next statistical landmark that we're going to be looking at is the maximum. And the maximum of our data set is the highest or greatest value in our data set. And the greatest value in our data set in this case would be 20. And the range of our data set is simply the maximum minus the minimum. If we take our maximum number or maximum value in our data set and we subtract our minimum value, that will give us our range of data. And the range in this case is 20 take away 16, which is equal to 4. So the range of our data ends up being 4. The next statistical landmark that you can use to analyze your data is the mode. And the mode is the value which occurs the most often. So this is the value which shows up in your set of data the most often. If we take a look at our data set up here at the top, you can see that 16 actually occurs the most often. It occurs three times, which means that 16 is our mode. The next statistical landmark that we can take a look at is the median. The median is the number which is in the middle of our data set. It's the number or the value which is in the center or middle of our data. Now to find which number is in the middle, what you need to do first is you need to take your data set and put it into numerical order from least to greatest. So I'll start at 16 and write out 16 three times, 17, 17, 18, 19, 19, and 20. Now our data is in numerical order from least to greatest, so we can go through and actually cross out the least and the greatest, and then the next least, and then the next greatest, the next least, the next greatest, the next, the least, and then the greatest, until we only have one number left, which would be our median. Now, if you have two numbers in the center, what you would do is find the middle of those two numbers, and that would give your median. Now, the mean is the final statistical landmark that you can use to analyze a set of data, and the mean is actually the average. Now, to find the average, you have to take the total value, which means that you have to add up all the numbers in your data set, and then divide by the number of samples or the number of values or numbers that you have in your data set. So in this case, I'm going to add up all the numbers. 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 17 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19 plus 19 plus 20 divided by how many numbers are in the set of data. If I count them, there are one, there are nine numbers in our data set. And what this works out to be, it works out to 158 divided by nine. 158 divided by nine is actually 17 and 55 hundredths, which we can round to 17 and 56 hundredths or 17 and 6 tenths, if you want to round to the tenths place. And this takes us through all the statistical landmarks which you need to know for your Unit 2 test. Have a great day!